na ba ang gaming pao na iniintay natin na swak sa performance pero hindi masakit sa bulsa? Stay tuned to find out! Hey peeps, it's me, Suzy Sor, and this is Tech for Noobs! It's Suzy Sor! Suzy Sor! Sor Sor! Siyempre, kapag mag-check kayo ng phone, titignan niyo muna kung gano'ng ka-cool yung itsura nito. So, let's check this out! The Honor Place body is made up of aluminum instead of glass. And the one we have right here is the navy blue version. But it also comes in midnight black. At the rear, we find the fingerprint sensor which is really responsive at unlocking your phone. And since gaming phone to, siyempre dapat meron siyang magandang screen for gaming and videos. For the display, we have a 6.3-inch 1080p IPS display. Here we find a really wide notch but thankfully, you can hide it under the display settings. Ang screen ng Honor Play ay saktong-sakto para sa body niya. Not too small and not too big. At ngayon, tignan natin kung up to performance ba tong gaming phone na ito. The Honor Play is running Huawei's top chipset, the Kirin 970 which runs on EMUI 8.1. It also has a chipset dedicated for AI-driven tasks, 4GB worth of RAM, and comes with 64GB of storage. The Honor Play comes with GPU Turbo pre-installed. It helps the games run more efficiently and provides smoother frame rates. Though for now, PUBG Mobile and AOV are the ones able to utilize it. Based on my experience after using GPU Turbo, naging mas consistent ang frame rates sa PUBG Mobile at AOV. Meron pa ring frame dips here and there, pero overall, mas naging smooth ang FPS ng mga games. The Honor Play wants to add a more immersive gaming experience. With their 40 Smart Shock, Smart Shock makes the phone vibrate according to the scenarios happening in game. It's like a haptic feedback in a controller. Okay, maganda siya for gaming. Pero, kaya ba magtagal ng battery nito? Let's find out! It's equipped with a 3750 mAh battery. The phone comes with a USB Type-C port and an 18 watt quick charger. Okay to para sa ating mga gamers since mabilis siya mag-charge at mapapatagal pa natin ang paglalaro natin. Now na maganda yung performance and maganda din yung battery, now i-check naman natin kung maganda yung audio. For the audio, we have a standard bottom firing speaker. But when you plug in headphones, a whole new level of diversity is open. You get to experience Huawei system audio that includes 3D audio. It simulates surround sound that lets you have a really immersive gaming experience in terms of audio. And since gaming phone to, tignan natin kung nag-compromise sila sa camera. On the front, we have a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture camera that comes with AI that helps boost face and look to be more accurate and reliable. On the back, it has a 16 megapixel f2.2 shooter with AI scene detection that helps classify the scene and it will adjust according. It also comes with a 2 megapixel f2.4 depth sensing secondary camera. Thankfully, maganda pa rin yung quality ng camera niya kahit pang gaming phone siya. So, pwede pa rin siya pang selfies and pang picture niyo together with your friends. Overall, magandang choice to if naghahanap ka ng budget gaming phone. Meron siyang GPU Turbo which is nag enhance ng FPS natin in-game. Yung 3D audio na nagpo-provide ng immersive gaming experience. Finally, yung Smart Shock na nagbibigay ng haptic feedback para mas maganda ang paglalaro natin. Currently, ang price ng phone na to is 15,990. May gaming phone ka na, sulit pa sa performance at sa budget. I also stream on fb.gg slash suzysor almost every day, so don't forget to watch me there. Thanks! Bye-bye! Rain supreme!